What's up guys, it's Todd, Susie's husband, and uh, she put me in charge of figuring out what to film today. So here I am at the store, we're gonna grab a few things to get, make, have her make something that I've always wanted her to, but she hasn't. Maybe she'll be sorry, maybe not, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, it's Todd. Susie. From Hey Grill Hey. I am Susie's husband, if you don't know that already. Everybody knows Todd. Um, so we're doing this series where Susie's going to cook something that she hasn't cooked that I really, 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 really want her to. Okay. So we're just this is our second one and I think we're just gonna keep going with it because I get to eat food that I like and... Yeah, so the first one was bacon wrapped Oreos. The second one, I am not sure. I have a mystery bag, I have a foil lined pan and a bottle of Fiesta Rub. So we'll crack open this bag and see what's inside and hopefully I can make something yummy. Before we jump into the mystery bag challenge, we're gonna take a moment for a word from our sponsors. Oh, hey. We are two professional business people and we are this video's sponsors. Yes. <laughs> so the reality of the situation is your support means the world to us. Just watching this video is enough to support us as your favorite creators. But if you wanna see more from Hey Grill Hey or if you wanna support us in another way, you can check out our products on heygrillhey.com slash store or you can join us in our members only community at thegrillsquad.com. Let's get to the recipe. Wow, thanks sponsor. Okay, I know it's silly, but it really does mean a lot to us. Uh, and it's time to make the stuff. Are you like? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, so we're just gonna go wham, bam, thank you, I was giving you a drum roll. Oh. Okay, let's see what you got. Chips. Uh, nachos or a dip? I do make nachos on foil lined sheet pans, often. Okay, let's just give it away on the first one. You ready? Okay. I. Oh, you love this stuff, Sue. I. She hates it. <laughs> right. What is it? What We're is making it? queso. Yes, so she made her own queso, but she did it with like a flour roux thing, and I just, it was good, but I wanted, Look, it's been trending on social media for years now, and I've been begging you to make it. And I haven't, but this is why you have to do the mystery bag challenge. Did you know that you can cook anything you want anytime? Mm -mm. I don't have to cook it for you. Mm -mm. You can just come out here, buy these no. ingredients, no. fire up the no. smoker, look up a recipe from somebody else, anytime you want. Look. If it was that easy, I'll just smoke a brisket. I don't want to do this. This and this requires a lot of chopping, which you're very good at, jalapeno. Okay. I did not get to choose what is going in this. Garlic? We're going to roast the garlic bulbs whole and then chop Am them Am I up. making the recipe or are you making the you're recipe? You're going to do it. I have to film. I got to work. Just tell me my business. I'm going to do what I want to do, Tom. Onion, and then we're going to add some beans too. I... So just my thought is, and I got the wrong thing, we're gonna go get a different one that's taller, is you do over the top, put, the, we got sausage. So just regular sausage? Yep. No like chorizo or? Just premium sausage. This is not my recipe, This you is guys. Todd's recipe. I would not do any of this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the sausage over chopped veggies, over the top, like, the, like your chili. Okay. Please? You tell me how to do it and I will do it. Just just sausage over the top with chopped veggies. Okay. And then we'll put the tomatoes on there. They can roast in there. Okay. And then you put it all in a pan. 
with the cheese and the cream cheese and the beans and then you put it back in the smoker. This is fancy queso. Do you want to know what I would do? Can I tell you really fast what I would do? If I were going to buy all the ingredients? Just buy queso? No. So Velveeta, I would do canned tomatoes, canned green chilies, and then I wouldn't have to chop anything. <laughs> Todd's making me work! I would do the lazy way. All you right. Can. You can buy a can of Rotel. Yeah, like Rotel chilies. with chilies and tomatoes already yeah. in it. And then it's just like dump, dump, dump and smoke it all together. Mm. We're doing the hard way. Okay. The more delicious way. The more delicious way. We're roasting our own vegetables for our queso. I Listen, can get behind that. I gotta go film now. Okay. And I'm gonna get a, you a chopping board. Is that what it's called? A cutting board. Cutting board. A knife, And maybe? a chopping utensil. A knife. And a taller one of these with, so it can be above the things. All right, rock and roll. BRB. <laughs> okay, now that I know the situation, I have all the ingredients in front of me. I actually think Todd's a little bit of a genius. I <laughs> was originally opposed to all of the fresh vegetables, but I think it'll be a really nice offset to kind of the like artificially cheesiness of the Velveeta and maybe it'll give us a good, like a better, brighter balance. That's one of the things I struggle with. It just feels a little heavy. So the fresh veggies, that might, it might give us something, you know, a little something. So we're gonna chop these guys and I'm gonna dice them pretty fine because I don't want big pieces of veggies in the case, so I really want them to stir into a nice like even homogenous when you take a dip chip bite it all mixes together nicely no seeds no seeds i'm just going to do one of the red bell peppers and one of the jalapenos i think that's going to be like plenty of peppers and then we'll do probably the whole onion and maybe like four to six cloves of garlic i'm thinking about these tomatoes like i said this is recipe making on the fly I think I'm gonna do half the onion in with the peppers and garlic, but I'm gonna save the other half of an onion and the fresh tomatoes and make a little, I got some cilantro here, I have some limes inside, make a little fresh pico to go on top of the queso. Again, I think that bright punchy will really lift like the heavy cheesy and be super nice. So no chopping tomatoes yet. All right, veggies are chopped. I'm gonna put a flat roasting rack above the vegetables like Todd suggested. And then I'm gonna kind of chunk up the pieces of the sausage, plop them on top. The sausage is going to render its fat down into the vegetables and it'll all kind of cook nicely together. I also think if you didn't want to do this part on the smoker, you could easily just cook it all together in a saute pan. So you had like the crumbled sausage and all the veggies that you could then stir into the queso. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of my Fiesta rub also, or you could use something like a taco seasoning if that's what you've got at home. I also have the recipe for this on my website, so if you wanted to make your own version of this from pantry seasonings, you can do that too. Boom. This would probably be easier in a skillet, but why not add extra smoky flavor while well, you can, right? Yeah, we'll make like a super smoked queso. Our smoker is running at 275 right now. I think we'll let this go for maybe a half hour to 40 minutes, and then we can break up the sausage, add everything else to the pan, and get it back on the smoker. While our sausage and vegetables are cooking away on the smoker, we're gonna make the quick pico that I was talking about. I've got three tomatoes, a jalapeno, a whole bunch of cilantro, a few cloves of garlic, half thing of onion. I'll squeeze in, ooh, I caught it lime juice to taste. And then I'm also gonna be using my Fiesta rub, which has like chilies and salt and pepper and cumin. Traditional pico, you really don't need all of it, but I've got it going on in the like veggies and I'm gonna put some in the queso too. So we're just layering the yummy flavors all together. And now I'm just gonna chop stuff for 10 minutes. That's dancing, not chopping. I know, I'm putting it off. Chopping the dance floor, you know what I'm I'm tearing it, tearing it up on the dance floor. Yeah, 
do a little taste test for flavor. <laughs> I think it has plenty of lime. I'm just gonna add a little more Fiesta. I think it needs a little more salt. And that jalapeno was mega mild, so this will give it a little bit more of a kick too. Boom, pico made, set it aside, and then we should probably check on our sausage and vegetables. All right, our sausage is cooked through. Our veggies are smoky and kind of wrinkly and they are definitely cooked through. We need to crumble up our sausage and I think the easiest way to do this, I've never tested the theory, but it seems like it would work, is see how we've got these little cross grids here? We just like push them through. Oh, that's hot, don't touch it. Don't touch the pan. What do you think, did it work? I mean, I don't know, I think so, it's kind of hot. I'm gonna call this a moderate experimental success. It's raining meat. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's raining meat. Look at that. I think that worked really good, actually. All right, we've got our meat and our smoke roasted vegetables. Just gonna combine that and then everybody is going to go in our aluminum pan for smoking and melting and queso ink. Todd, listen, this smells really good. The pico's really good. We have real cheese. Do I really need to put queso in it? Like fake cheese? Okay. All right, smoky veggies, meaty, smoky meaty veggies in one corner. <laughs> Todd wanted beans. So I think you could do black beans or pinto beans. It's just a can that's been rinsed and drained. Um, or if you wanted it like creamier, you could probably do refried beans, but I was a little bit worried about the consistency of it. And color. And color. I like black beans. Todd likes refried beans. We settled in the mat middle with pinto beans. <laughs> but you could probably use whatever bean you like. Let's just do one of these. Todd got Mexican four cheese. Shredded cheese. This is two cups in one bag. I got the cream cheese into cubes. Plop that into one corner. And then our liquid gold. This is a, this size, 16 ounces, one pound. Do you think this will be enough? That's gotta be enough, right? How, how much? I mean, listen, if we're going for it, maybe we need two pounds of Velveeta. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you asked for this. Also, you bought the Mexican version of this, which I did not know existed. Me um, but I imagine that the regular one would probably work great. Looks like it has like some peppers in there maybe. A little extra peppery flavor. It just reminds me of spray cheese. We went through a real spray cheese phase as children, I think because um, the Goofy movie, the Leaning Tower of Cheese. So we thought it was cool. But then I, I don't know, maybe I ate too much and got sick, but it just hasn't appealed to me much since then. I'm gonna put this whole pan back on the smoker. It's still running at 275 until all of our cheese is melty and then we're gonna stir it together. I have no idea how long this is gonna take, so let's find out. Um, I'm assuming also if you wanted to run this at 225 and get a little bit more of a smoke profile on there, you totally could. This is just about getting everything melted and at the same temperature and stirrable. We got ooey gooey cheese, soft cream cheese. That looks good. Yeah. Actually, it kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but I think when we stir it, it will look good. Before you go to stir it, I'm gonna grab that camera and get Ooh, a close up on it. Ooh, pretty shots. Yeah. I'm gonna sprinkle with a little bit of our Fiesta rub and then stir it, so you got a second. Okay. Sweet heaven. 
I'm drooling. That smells awesome. More queso. Huh? I cannot believe I am saying this, but I think we could have used more Velveeta. It's fine, it's just thick, but that's because we put lots of meat and goodies in it. I would think if you want something that's more like drippy, thin queso, then do two bricks of Velveeta. <laughs> but for me, I think this is awesome. I think I'd rather have more stuff than oh, Velveeta. Yeah. If you want the thinner stuff, just buy the stuff up from the store. All right, I'm gonna smooth it out and then I'm gonna sprinkle our Pico on top. Ooh, I need the camera for that too. Go get the camera top. Boo. I think that looks lovely. You can try some. For real? All right, we got our queso. It is bubbly, it is cheesy. We got our yummy pico on top. I'm seriously drooling. It's queso time. And I think one of our kids is gonna be home in a few minutes and he is Mucho queso the king lover. of queso. So we'll see if we can get him to try some of this goody goodness. Oh gosh. I broke my chip. I went in too heavy. <laughs> mm. That is the opposite of a camera bite. Oh. Mm. I wouldn't want more of the Velveeta in there because it's very prevalent. You could thin it out with some cream, heavy cream or some milk or something, right? Yeah, I think if you wanted it thinner, you could totally add some milk. I wouldn't add more Velveeta to that. It's already too Velveeta. It's very Velveeta-y. But the milk, the juice from the Pico helps a little bit. The milk? You didn't put it in there. I know, but if you added milk, oh, it would right, thin right, it right, out. Right. Okay, listen. I'm sorry it took me forever to make this. This is absolutely really, really delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I have to stop temporarily to do the outro. Are you ready? We want to help you. Why do you always say it? And it looks like you're making fun because of me. Because I don't remember. And making fun of myself because I've heard it 40 million times and I can't say it. It we, comes from the heart, Todd. We're going to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. You know exactly what it is. <laughs> Turkey. All right, you guys, make this queso. We'll put the recipe up on HayGrillHay.com and on the Hay Grill Hay app. I know this is a little bit different than some of the other quesos out there, so I hope you enjoy the Hay Grill Hay version of it. This was definitely a Todd and Susie, our powers combined type of recipe. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.